If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Load Runner series. It's been a while since I posted about uh, Load Runner videos. So now we are going to see something unique feature in the recent version of Load Runner Professional 2022. I have already posted a detailed blog about chaos testing in Load Runner using Gremlin. You can uh, visit this blog which will be in the description in the below for the detailed step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase how you can uh, start practicing the chaos engineering in Load Runner Professional using a Gremlin. Recently, Load Runner team has released it's the uh, newer version of uh, Load Runner Professional 2022. The one unique uh, tech preview feature is chaos integration. Using this feature, you can easily embed your chaos experiments into your controller scenario and then you can start executing your load testing in parallel with the chaos experiments. So this will help us to identify the potential performance bottlenecks by doing the chaos experiments. So in this demo, you need multiple stuffs to get started for the successful chaos experiment. One is a free account with Gremlin and then you can download the Loadrunner Professional 2022 from the Loadrunner website. Apart from this, we need a demo application. So I'm going to use AWS EC2 and then we are going to install Nginx and then we are going to run the experiments, chaos experiments on the Nginx box via load runner controller scenario. So there are so many things you need. Let us see one by one. First, let us go to uh, Gremlin and uh, just sign up for a free account. So once you signed up for a free account in the dashboard view, you will get this instruction. Then sign up for AWS account if you don't have and try to spin up a simple EC2 instance. So this is a free tier EC2 instance. So I already uh, running uh, Nginx Chaos demo. And if you want to create a new instance, just click on uh, this launch instances. And here you can see uh, there is a new uh, early beta iteration of the wizard. Either you can use the traditional uh, wizard here or you can just click on try it now. And this will have only one screen instead of uh, going through multiple screens. So here you can just uh, give some name and select the Ubuntu box. Of course, you can select Amazon Linux or any other uh, OS flavor, uh, whichever you like. And if you just keep scrolling, you can select the instance type as T2 micro, which is free tier and select the key pair. And if you don't have a key pair, create a new key pair and download it in a safe, uh, safer location. Then uh, for the network settings, we are going to access the Nginx from the uh, HTTPS and HTTP from the internet. So you have to check these two boxes and storage could be a default storage, which is 8 GB byte. And I click on launch instance. So this will successfully launch the instance. And if you go to your instances uh, screen, you can see the instance will be up and running. So here, let us uh, log in into this box and uh, try to install the uh, Nginx and then we can also install the uh, Gremlin uh, package. So just select the uh, box name and uh, click on the uh, copy button here under the public IP address and go to your terminal and use the SSH command to log in into successfully. So here I have already logged in. Now let me just uh, exit and you have to use the uh, PEM file. So this is the command SSH space hyphen I and then the file which you downloaded from the AWS and Ubuntu is the username at the rate, the uh, IP address of the uh, Nginx box. And uh, once you hit enter, you can log in into the box successfully. So first thing we have to just uh, update your uh, packages. So this is the first command usually I enter whenever I log in into the Linux box. So after this, uh, you, we are going to install Nginx and then we are going to make sure the Nginx is opening properly from the internet. So now to install uh, Nginx, you can just uh, type uh, this command app get install Nginx and then uh, enter uh, Y and hit enter. So this will install the Nginx and then it will uh, start the Nginx service. So if the Nginx service is not started, we can also start ourselves. Just to uh, check it out, you can install uh, send this command curl. Uh, localhost 80 so which will give you this uh, welcome to nginx so this is the localhost uh, nginx box but we are going to access it from the internet right 
so what you can do just uh, go to your uh, browser and uh, just click on the uh, open address here so this will by default it will go to http yes and but we don't have any certificate installed let us try with http so now you can see nginx uh, home page is popped up here so we are going to run the experiments on this nginx uh, url okay so now let us uh, go back to uh, gremlin so we have installed successfully the nginx and nginx is opening properly so we are good with that so now what we can do let us configure the uh, gremlin inside the uh, linux box so these are the steps you need to follow based on your operating system and uh, uh, you need to have the uh, root privilege that is an important thing you should have and first let us uh, copy uh, this command and go to the terminal and enter this clear my screen and i'm going to copy the second uh, gpg key and here again and again i'm going to copy to uh, clipboard the install gremlin client and a daemon and i'm going to install it here so this will install the gremlin and the gremlin daemon so after this you will get the gremlin successfully installed inside your linux box then we are going to uh, configure the team id api key and secret to integrate successfully with our gremlin dashboard so to do that you have to follow the uh, gremlin control plane uh, instructions so you need two things one is the team id and the secret key in team settings so if you click on this team settings it automatically take you to the uh, team settings where you can see your team id so this is my team id this is my team name and the secret key will be sent in an email but if you uh, lost or if you are not getting that please check it in spam folder but still if you are not able to figure it out you can also reset again by clicking on the reset button since i already uh, added the team id uh, the secret key i have kept it in my uh, uh, different uh, file so i'm going to use that apart from this you need also uh, create the uh, api keys so if you click on api keys it will say it's been uh, moved to the account settings so just click on the account settings so here uh, you can create the new api key so right now i have two keys active gremlin demo and new lr and if you want to copy just uh, click here and click to copy the api key so now it will copy the entire api key successfully so this also i'm going to keep it in a separate uh, location so now what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to configure the gremlin so go to your uh, linux box here and type gremlin space in it so this will uh, set the metadata like os type os name instance id those things and here it will ask you to enter the team id so i'm going to copy the team id and then i'm going to paste it here similarly you have to enter the team secret so this is my uh, team secret so i'm going to copy and paste it here so now once you successfully configured you will get this message uh, using uh, my ip address for the gremlin identifier so now everything is properly set so now we are good with the gremlin installation and configuration for our linux box now if you go to your uh, uh, dashboard it automatically uh, displays this page so it will automatically reload and then it will display uh, the uh, wizard the very first step is we need to create the uh, scenario so scenario is nothing but the collection of your uh, uh, fault injection or an attack so here there are a couple of options one is you can quickly run an attack here or you can create the scenario or if you want to uh, enable the service discovery you can use this option and here you can see the recently executed scenarios so i have run memory attack cpu attack and then uh, you can schedule the uh, experiment and then you can see uh, the uh, scenarios like valid auto scaling or some uh, help uh, links so what we are going to do we are going to create a scenario so just click on create scenario and you have to give some uh, valid name for your uh, scenario so i'm going to say uh, say cpu uh, faults so we are going to uh, mess up with the uh, cpu so that's why i'm going to give uh, cpu faults and you have to give some uh, hypothesis or a description so let us uh, attack cpu so this is my uh, description so now you need to 
select the uh, new attack right you have to add a new attack by uh, adding your host so either you can use containers or you can use kubernetes so in this case we are using the ec2 instance so we are going to select the hosts available we have only one host configured for the gremlin and if you uh, just a little bit scroll down you can choose the hosts to target so which host you are going to target the attack and here you can uh, search or you can expand by operating system or you can select by tags zone region other tags or you can just simply target all the hosts so right now we have only one so you can just uh, toggle on this uh, button which will select the target host so this will also displays the blast radius so there is a something called blast radius and also uh, magnitude so we are going to see eventually those terms in the chaos uh, engineering uh, series but as of now uh, just try to understand we are going to create an attack on our ec2 instance then you have to select which kind of an attack you are going to create either you can go with the resource so if you select the resource it will uh, display the attacks there are four different types of attacks cpu disk io and memory and if you're selecting the state you can select the attacks like process killer shutdown and time travel and if you're selecting the network you can create a black hole dns latency packet loss so in this case let us go with the uh, cpu so this is my uh, cpu attack and if you select the cpu you can select the uh, length of the an attack so right now i'm going with say 60 seconds but let us go with say 3 minutes so i'm going with 180 seconds and i'm going to target 100 percentage cpu capacity across all the cores so it will attack it will consume cpu percentage 100 percentage across all the cores so basically your application will be unresponsive unresponsive and uh, very high response time this is what we should get for our ec2 uh, nginx so once you successfully configured uh, these uh, attacks and configuration and click on add to scenario and similarly you can define another attack and you can uh, repeat the steps till you design your experiment so in this case for the demo purpose i am going with only one attack uh, which is cpu and I click on save scenario so now we are good with our uh, gremlin uh, configuration so now the next step is we need to create a view gen script and then we are going to design a scenario in controller and then uh, let us see how we can uh, take this forward this experiment just to launch uh, ViewGen and create this uh, web custom request. So here the URL is blank. So we are going to use our IP address. So HTTP colon slash slash. And then let us go to our Nginx and copy this IP address and paste it in your ViewGen. So now before we uh, execute uh, or design a scenario, first let us click on run button to make sure the uh, script is working fine or not. So of course this script should work fine because it's not very complex. It is a very simple script and then you can see the success message. So I'm not care about the handling the uh, status code, those things, etc. I'm going to keep it very simple. Only one transaction, one URL hit, that's it. And uh, we don't have any think time here, but let us configure the pacing in the uh, controller. So now just uh, save this uh, ViewGen script. So right now I'm saving it as chaos testing hyphen Nginx. So now uh, next step is to design the controller scenario. So launch the load owner controller and select the scenario type as manual scenario and click on plus add scripts button. And here you can see automatically the list of scripts. So now let us go with the our script name chaos testing nginx and click on add. So this will add the script name to the scenario once you click on OK button. The next step we need to design a scenario so what kind of a scenario we are going to uh, design and also we need to add the experiments the chaos experiments so first let us de design a quick scenario so here i am going to start with uh, say 50 virtual users so that is the maximum i can go for the community edition and i am going to start these 50 virtual users for one second each so it will take almost this much uh, seconds let us uh, see the workaround model once everything is configured so now uh, click on next and i'm going to run this experiment uh, for uh, say five minutes so i'm going to run this experiment for five minutes so just to select uh, five minutes here and click on next and then i'm going to shut down all the 
uh, virtual users simultaneously and click on ok so now if you just hover over your uh, mouse here you can see in within less than one minute all the 50 virtual users will be injected and then they will keep on sending the request uh, hitting the nginx url and after uh, before sixth minute our all the virtual users will be simultaneously uh, they will uh, ramp down so this is our uh, typical uh, workload model in load runner so now we have to embed our chaos experiment so where can i embed our scenario so here if you see uh, just uh, above the schedule name so there is a new button called disruption events so this is available only in load runner professional 2022 edition and I click on this scenario schedule and uh, disruption events so here you will get a new window so here you have to add your event by clicking on the add event button here you need to configure the api key from the gremlin and then you have to enter the team id of your gremlin account so right now i have the api key configured so i'm going to copy and paste it here and similarly i'm going to copy the uh, team id and then i'm going to paste it here so once you successfully uh, configure loadrunner will automatically display the uh, list of scenarios the event names which you created in the gremlin account so recently we created cpu false so i'm going to check this event only because this is the right kind of a fault uh, experiment we have created uh, other events are not with respect to the host we are testing so you should not touch that even if you add it it will not work so you have to select the right event name check that box and click on add so once you click on the add button it will uh, display this option where you can configure the start time and end time of your uh, chaos experiment so right now we have configured remember 180 seconds which is three minutes so here you have to mention in your scenario when you need to start the attack so whether you want to start the attack at the beginning or the middle or at the end so you have to properly configure otherwise you cannot uh, inject the fault so in this case i am going to start my attack after two minutes okay so after uh, two minutes so within uh, the two minute you will have all the 50 virtual users injected as per your workload model right so my attack will start exactly at second minute and then it will last for three minutes then after fifth minute onwards uh, after few seconds it will ramp down so this is what my chaos experiment is then now you have to click on save so now we have added our uh, chaos attack in your load on scenario and let us uh, save this uh, by clicking on save icon or control s and give the uh, give a name meaningful name say a uh, chaos engine x uh, demo okay now we have to configure the pacing so pacing is very important you need to give some breathe time otherwise you might be testing uh, uh, not a real world situation thing so you need to uh, just select this select the scenario groups and go to uh, runtime settings and here you can configure the uh, pacing just uh, select pacing and give a random delay or whatever delay you want to give just select the random delay so in this case i'm going with uh, three to five which makes sense and log i'm not going to enable logging again i don't have a think time uh, run logic is one iteration so just a typical uh, whatever you do for your uh, uh, load runner execution you can just follow this and click on save and close this so now uh, click on ok here and save your scenario so now we are configured everything properly so everything is fine it is time to begin our experiment so just click on the run icon here and click on yes to overwrite all the uh, results file so now our experiment will start i have very poor uh, laptop my cpu will always throttle if i open multiple applications so you may see the errors but mainly it is because of my load generator so it is an issue but just for this experiment case sake uh, it's not major concern for me because we are doing uh, some kind of demo but make sure your load generator utilization is less than 60 percentage all the time so right now uh, it's running with 29 30 uh, virtual users and if you go to design you can see the timeliner 
so now we are going to reach the uh, 50 threads in few seconds and now if you go back to run you can see the past transactions you can see the response time which is very consistent it's 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 second 100 milliseconds right and the throughput you can see here uh, running virtual users which is almost uh, reach, going to reach uh, 40 sorry 50 so like this you can keep monitoring here uh, the vital important vitals other details and after a uh, few seconds second minute onwards the cpu will be spiked up so how you can validate is just go to your uh, linux box and type uh, uh, top and hit enter so right now the cpu is almost nothing actually right so let us wait uh, for the two minutes uh, time so let us go back to controller here so it will take another uh, 30 seconds more uh, to reach the two minutes uh, window let us wait okay now the chaos attack should have started so now if you go back to your uh, terminal uh, you can monitor the uh, cpu utilization so this will uh, eventually reach uh, up to 100 uh, percentage so let us wait and monitor the uh, cpu utilization here okay now if you see the cpu utilization of uh, uh, this system is 99.7 percentage across all the cores now if you go back to your controller and uh, click on run uh, definitely you should see some elevation and uh, some kind of uh, unexpected uh, patterns you will might see in your graphs so since it's a very small box and we are not putting much load on the cpu is very high but still you can see some kind of a pattern in your uh, vital uh, graphs so now let us go back to uh, here and uh, the cpu percentage is consistent 100 percentage so now what we can do just to test it out just go to your browser and hit refresh see this is taking some time if you just see here uh, or let me open my uh, developer tools and uh, go to network and hit refresh okay see here it is taking 66 milliseconds but usually it should not take 66 milliseconds let us monitor here uh, throughout the duration and we can analyze once the chaos experiment and this scenario is successfully executed okay now the experiment is successfully completed and if you go to load runner uh, controller you can see everything is successfully done and the uh, linux box if you see the top command the cpu is 0.3 percentage so now the nginx uh, chaos experiment is completed now let us uh, go to the uh, controller and analyze the uh, results and go to results and I click on analyze results so this will open it in the load runner analysis and let us see uh, what is the uh, transaction response time uh, during the uh, chaos experiment so which is almost three uh, minutes so we are going to see the pattern during the chaos experiment okay so this is the uh, report for the home page 90 percent is 112 uh, milliseconds sorry 100.1 uh, uh, seconds or 112 milliseconds and if you go to uh, hits per second you can see the pattern here and the throughput you can see the pattern here and uh, if you compare the uh, response time versus the throughput definitely you can see some uh, varying patterns so now let us plot the graph between the uh, transaction response time and if you right click and uh, click on merge graphs uh, let us uh, uh, merge the throughput here and click on ok so now if you see the transaction response time which is in the green color and the throughput is in the uh, red color and during the time frame from two minutes to uh, uh, fifth minute you can see there is an elevation in the response time so if you see here i'm going to uh, right click i'm going to auto correlate and i'm going to keep the uh, time between two and five and i'm going to click on ok so this will uh, correlate the relation and here i'm going to uncheck the cpu uh, disk and memory of my uh, machine the load generator and here you can see the pattern see the average response time is uh, uh, relatively small but during uh, second and uh, fifth minute between you can see some uh, increase basically so during the chaos experiment the uh, response time is increased that is obvious so this will uh, help us to fine-tune the uh, configuration or the code or the uh, the pattern the real world situation pattern so you can uh, get a lot of opportunities
to uh, fix and uh, optimize your uh, application but whatever we have done is very small experiment of course you can uh, increase the blast radius you can come up with your own uh, thought experiments targeting network memory cpu uh, everything then you can create something a very solid to fine tune your application so this is how you do your chaos experiments uh, in load runner using gremlin so thanks for watching have a good day if you would like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel